What's up, everyone? Happy Saturday. We are over here at the lake on a beautiful sunshine day. It's about 50 degrees. The sun is shining. Everybody's out. Spring is in the air. All good stuff. All good stuff. So we got the ride going on. Midday ride today. Uh, enjoying nice sunshine. And I'm going to come to you with the message of the day. So to this morning... I was uh, scrolling through Facebook, and my buddy Ryan the Lion uh, had a great post about communication, and uh, this one kind of hits home. Um, so when you're communicating, do you actually listen? When someone you're in a conversation, do you actually listen? Um, and how do you listen? Do you listen to respond, or do you listen to understand? Uh, there's a big difference. Uh, if you're listening to react, um, you're missing uh, what the person is feeling. If you're listening to understand and get in their shoes and figure out where they're coming from, now your response will be different because you understand what's in their heart, what's in their mind and what they're feeling rather than just quick uh, knee-jerk reactions to the conversation. So um, there's times, I know especially in, in my marriage when my wife came to me with stuff, um, that I would be looking to respond immediately. It's not my fault immediately. Yeah, but you know, you did this. So I did this, um, immediately with that knee jerk reaction, that knee jerk response immediately, uh, you know, ready for me, my reply before, um, uh, I actually waited for her to finish what she was saying and understand what she was saying. Um, I think a lot of us do this. We're immediately, uh, pulling a trigger on our response before we're actually listening to what the person is saying. Um, we're real quick to uh, say, yeah, but you did this. Yeah, but this. Yeah, but that. Um, where we're not really um, understanding what the person is saying. We're not giving them uh, a chance to express themselves fully and develop their thought. Uh, we're immediately just reacting. Um, so in your travels, in your conversations, Think about it to yourself. Are you actually listening and understanding what the person is saying? Or are you just trying to react? All right, now phase two of this is, are you reacting based on past situations? So um, if someone has done something to you, are you holding a grudge that is, um, I guess, skewing your reaction? Um, so we gotta learn to forgive and forget. Um, we got to learn not to hold grudges because uh, it affects our communication. It affects our relationships. Uh, something may have happened in the past. Someone may have made a mistake and we hold it against them forever, basically. And we keep reliving this past in our head. And every time we see this person, we're triggered by something that happened in the past. And you know what? That person may have changed. That person may have been going through something bad. That person may have been having a bad day. And whatever went on between the two of you, um, that wasn't good, you hold it against them forever. And we need to stop doing that because then when we respond to someone into their conversation, we have this tainted view. We have this, this already have this anger in our, in our heart against them over something that's happened in the past that they probably don't even remember. Um, yet, um, you know, they probably don't remember what they did to you. They're coming to you with something new. And because of something that happened in the past, you're giving them a hard time. And you're being short with them. So, uh, here's your message of the day. Let's learn how to communicate better. Uh, this world is all about communication. All of our relationships are about communication. The better we learn to communicate, the better our lives and those around us will be. So, uh, start practicing better communication techniques. All right. So, start listening. Really understand what the person is saying before you quickly respond. And don't hold grudges. Don't taint uh, your relationships and your conversations with stuff from the past. Now, of course, if someone keeps burning you, you know, you cut them out of your life. But if something happened with someone a long time ago, forgive and forget. Don't relive it. Don't relive things that happened in the past. Um, give them the benefit of the doubt. Give them a chance to grow and uh, make the world a better place. All right. Let's jump on prayers here. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, thank you for this sunshine day. Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you for all the beauty you put around us. And thank you for the ability to communicate. Now, please help us to communicate better. Help us to uh, uh, give people the benefit of the doubt. Help us to be a lot more loving in our communication, a lot more understanding with the people around us. Uh, Amen. All right. So, Saturday fun day. Beautiful day on the lake. And you got your message of the day. All right. If you got any thoughts on this topic, please jump in there. Give it a like. Give it a love. Give it a comment. I appreciate the feedback on uh, these messages. Uh, if you're going through anything and you don't feel comfortable putting it out there in public, you can DM me. No judgment. I'll always love to talk. I always love to share ideas. Um, relationships. Life is built on the relationships we make. Make good ones. Be good to people in your life. Hi, everyone. Happy Saturday. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.